Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cabramatta Bowling Club. Michael Ibbotson here bringing you round one of the Zone 12 Men's Division 1 pennant. Big clash to start off the season. St John's Park visitors here versus the Cabramatta Bull Ants. I'll get you these sides on all three rinks. You can see on the top of your screen there we've got the ends we'll keep updating right across the uh, the total of 63. The scoreboard throughout the game will display the big board score, so the combination of all three rinks. I'll keep you updated on the rink score here in front of us. So we're, on, uh, we're shooting on rink 8 over on rink 10, the St John's Park side, Bryce Billington, Philip Clark, Sorry, I've got that a little bit backwards. My apologies. Uh, Rink 10, Alistair Connell, Ashley Mitchell, Jared Beath, and Benjamin Twist. And for the Cabramatta side, Daniel Novak, Jeff Smith, Ben Moorthorpe, and Aaron Wilson. Rink 9, for St. John's Park, Cameron Cooper, Mark Rapola, Kenta Treacher, and Matthew Peterson. And for Cabramatta, Matt Bruff, Matt McIntyre, Bo Prado, and Jesse Narona. Just in our second end of the roll-up ends. Here on rink eight for St John's Park, Bryce Billington, Philip Clark, Craig Donaldson, and David Ferguson. The Cabramatta side, Bailey Metty, Rod Dixon, Gary Willis, and Carl Healy. Very happy to have you all joining us here this evening. There is quite a bit going on at the club with entertainment. People are crowding around our undercover green here, so a little bit of background noise, but we will work our way through. Not as cold here as you might have expected. The wind's dropped right away, so hopefully that stays away for this evening's game. No doubt we're in for a fantastic match. Gary Willis on the mat there. Thirds playing their last bowls of the warm-up ends. Not far away from a start. Plenty to get through too. We've got plenty to talk about everything that's going on at the club between ends. As I mentioned in the lead-in for those just joining us, the uh, displayed scoreboard will be the total for the big board. And I'll just keep everyone updated on the rink score here for rink eight.
So David Ferguson playing the last bowl of the warm-up ends. And we're just about ready to get underway. Cabramatta winning the toss and giving the mat away. Billington to get us started here. <laughs> Bailey Meddy leading for Carl Healy. to a pretty fair start from the leads. Bailey Meddy with the white speckle bowl holding the one shot. Philip Clark with his first of the match. Fair start with his first. Dixon with a pretty fair effort here. Jack just sitting in front of Philip Clark's first bowl. close for second shot definitely one to St John's Park camera angles we have are a little deceptive making uh, Philip Clark's back ball probably look a touch closer than it actually is Craig Donaldson on the map
Gary Willis potentially making second shot there, Jack Hyatt. Dave Ferguson indicating close for that second shot. Craig Donaldson second bowl there. Probably the same story as the other bowls surrounding the jack. Gary Willis with a fair try here. What a shot from Gaz. Played to perfection around Donaldson's bowl. Looks to me as though Gary is one, as I mentioned earlier. Craig's bowl probably looks looks a touch closer than it is on screen. Ferguson with his first of the match. Playing a nice confident weight there. Any trail would certainly make it difficult for Carl to get to. Carl Healy with a solid shot there. Got a little piece of the jack. Just have to and get a good shot of uh, Rod Dixon in the uh, in the other view. So definitely one to Cabramatta with Gary Willis. Bowl. And I'd say Phil Clark's bowl might be second shot there, Jack High. Let's see if we can follow Carl's bowl in here. That's a little heavy, but Cabramatta will take the one shot. Ben Twist winning his first end against Aaron Wilson. Get you that uh, score in a moment. It was a two to St John's Park. Fantastic start from Bailey Meddy. Apologies, just got caught up catching Jesse Narona's last bowl. Using the shelf of a short bowl and resting 
on the front of the jack. What a great set from Bailey Meddy. So anyone that has joined us after the intro, just to let you know, the scoreboard will display the big board score and ends. I'll just keep you posted on the rink score here on rink eight between Carl Healy and David Ferguson. So two all after three ends. As you would expect. Very high quality start from both sides. Shot from Phil Clark, still one to Bailey Meddy. Rod Dixon wasn't confident there, but stays on at the back of the rink. Still a line there for Gary Willis to draw around the Billington short bowl. Does swing down pretty well on this hand. That might change the story a little bit. Probably play the perfect shot down to the inside of Phil Clark's bowl, but looks like they're discussing something a little more, a little more positive. Probably the best of a uh, bad result for St John's Park there. Just opens up that backhand for a little bit more direct. Carl just asking Gaz to put something where the jack might end up. Played it pretty well. And Pixie staying on the forehand here, trying to repeat the shot. Without the result, he's played that about as well as you probably could. Perfect result was off Bailey's shorter bowl. Happy to say that Bailey's bowl stuck around. So holding one shot, just left of that, the blue bowl 
is uh, Phil Clark. Allowed to be a little bit biased. Sorry about that. Every now and then do get somebody uh, tap me on the shoulder here. So on the second end here on rink eight, Cabramatta winning the first end with one shot. Ben Twist picking up another two shots against Aaron Wilson on rink 10. Skips here on rink 8, each with the ball to play. Carl was just trying to get up and rest that Clark bowl out of the head. Enough. It is a little difficult to uh, just show you which of those four yellow bowls is which. case the jack does move. I believe it's Bryce Billington's bowl more towards the centre line. Dave Ferguson missing by the smallest of margins and moves the Philip Clark bowl out which results in a three to Cabramatta. Peterson picking up one shot against Jesse Narona, so we're back to a tied game after six ends, five all. Couple of good lead bowls there, Bryce Billington about six inches past the jack. A few of the patrons behind me have moved on, so bit of that reduce a little bit of that background noise. Bailey Meddy with a fantastic response. Right down to the jack.
Bailey Meddy off to a really strong start here for Carl, which is great to see. Rod Dixon in a very good area there. It's a pretty fair bowl there from Phil Clark. Resting the Medi bowl out, making two with a touch. Well, Dixon with a pretty fair try there. So five all on the big board. Across the rinks, Ben Twist leading Aaron Wilson 4-0 after two ends. Matt Peterson and Jesse Narona one all after two. And Carl Healy leading Dave Ferguson here on rink eight, 4-0 after two. Ferguson just having a look at playing a shot to change it slightly I'm pretty sure is what I ever heard so it looks like all three of these St John's Park balls could go out if Gary Willis attacks again So after a really good shot from Craig Donaldson, Gary Willis attacking again. So definitely two to St John's Park and it looks like Phil Clark's blue bowl short of Jack would probably be three. His two bowls planted together there. I don't think his uh, shortest bowl makes four. As much as that fell short, it does make it a little harder for Carl to potentially get the contact he wants on those two Clark bowls. Carl Healy, very methodical. Carl Healy with a fantastic effort there, so that's Again, battling with the yellow bowl. So the yellow bowl on the jack is Bryce Billington. Right of jack is Craig Donaldson. And the, uh, as you saw, Carl's last yellow bowl there.
So again, not certain of the count, but definitely St John's Park holding two shots. Carl Healy with his last ball of the end. There's a chance to play something similar on the forehand with Bailey's ball behind his last. It's potential to uh, get a result out of some contact there. Carl Healy in the area. Wow. He's almost played it perfect and potentially down three. Fantastic effort from Carl there. So rinks nine and ten trading shots. One more to Ben Twist and Jesse Narona picking up a shot. Dave Ferguson with his last bowl of the end. It hasn't quite got the yardage. No, it was two, if so I'm mistaken. St John's Park. Take a two shot lead. So, everyone should be aware of Father's Day coming up in a couple of days. Catering here have a couple of fantastic options, some specials on the menu. Slow braised. Beef short ribs sound pretty good. With deep fried whole snapper, there's two very nice options. I'd be happy with either. Billington holding one shot, now drawing in for a second. Still plenty of uh, space there for Bailey Meddy. Very good effort there from Bailey, probably just over a foot short. Possibly still down two. Bill Clark in a very good area there. Dixon getting something in the head there, something to work with. So 
So there's two shots to St John's Park. Dark Navy Rod Dixon bowl there is third shot for Cabramatta. Another good shot from Rod. Still the two down, but uh, two bowls in very good positions. Craig Donald to not getting that little roll out of the Clark Bowl as he would have liked. So Carl just calling backhand with a couple of yards just down through an area. Gary Willis in a very good area. Yeah. Moves the jack. So probably still two to St John's Park, but gives Gary and Carl much more opportunity with their last few bowls at the end. Craig Donaldson with a pretty tidy change over there. So three to St John's Park. And goes sliding through there, but uh, at least gives Carl a little bit more of an option. Especially having last ball at the end. Ferguson there playing a, uh, a good shot, something behind and counting. May give Carl something to uh, to rest on if he's a little high. Ideal result for Carl there, but I guess it does create a bit of a target. That Phil Clark bowl, probably a full bowl short of Craig Donaldson's. Matt Peterson taking another shot on rink nine. 
That's two all there after four ends. So this picks up the ranks there, ten down. Give another look at the head. Does look like St. John's Parker holding four. Great shot from Carl Healy. And Jack rolls out of bounds for a dead end. Big save from Carlos there. Uh, ben Twist picking up another shot on rank 10. Currently leads. Six nil over Aaron Wilson. A good shot from Bailey Meddy. Touch over, but in a good area. Great set from Bailey Meddy. A couple of touches there, holding two. Rod Dixon drawing third shot there. And Dave Ferguson asking just to clear a bit of a path. So Kepra holding three shots. Good shot there from, from Rod. Exactly what Carl was after. So 
Craig Donaldson here. So reaching a little on the forehand. with a uh, perfect weight there for the shot Carl was after. Just looking to move Rod's bowl up into the head a little bit more. Pixie trying to play a very similar shot again on the forehand. suggesting close for second shot. Bailey met his bowl right of Jack. Still the one. Good effort there from Gaz, but just got the uh, the inside of Rod's bowl. So I'm not sure how aggressive Dave's going to be, but it does look like he's calling for a draw. Maybe a little too big of a gap between the uh, Rod Dixon and Bailey Medi Bowls. So the drawing on the forehand. Thought maybe he'd opt for a little bit of a uh, clean out the two closest Cabra Bowls. Carl Healy with his first of the end. Barely even half a roll. We'll probably get uh, get in there to be close. So I'm not sure if... It does look like Rod's bowl probably is second now that it was laid down. Hard to view on the uh, the angle that I'm on here. So we are on the third end after the last end was killed with uh, with Carl's last bowl. St John's Park holding four before he played that shot. Dave Ferguson with his last bowl. Carl still with one to play. No change there with that bowl. From Fergo. Trying 
Trying to overhear Gaz there. Oh, I couldn't quite hear what the shot was. He can opt to just play to beat his last bowl on the forehand. Not sure if there's a positive shot on the backhand without risk. He's playing something similar on the forehand by the looks of it. And very well played there from Carl. So two shots. Big turnaround after killing on the last. Jesse Nerona also uh, scoring on their fifth end, keeping with the trends of singles in that game. Good start from Bailey. So one shot in it now. No update from rink 10. Dan Novak with his first bowl trail jack. And... Did not move until Ben Twist's last bowl of the end. And Ben Twist killing the end with that bowl. Good shot from Bryce Billington. Very good couple of bowls there from Bryce. It's a rod on the backhand here. Just looking to create something. And he's done very, very well. A front noser and has drawn shot. Clark just trying to make sure he's reaching here on the backhand. And he's played it pretty well. I couldn't tell you who's holding shot. Uh, Carl indicates probably down. there does widen up the target a little bit which is handy sure he wanted a couple a uh, couple of extra feet on there just to give 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 us an option there behind the Bryce Billington yellow bowls
Carrie Willis with a fantastic effort there. So Carl Healy indicating before that uh, Phil Clark's bowl is holding shot. Hard to see on that angle if uh, the edge of that bowl would see the jack deviate a little bit or if it is just going straight down the line. I'd assume at some point this end we'll probably find out. Gary Willis there, all but uh, getting a result. So we may not find out now whether the jack does go down the line. Still some room there for Carl to create a result with that last bowl of Pixie falling out. So one shot separating the sides. 13 ends in. This is exactly what we'd expect. Fantastic start to this men's pennant season. So it looks like we've got three bowls within an inch of the jack and we're down one. danger here is if the jack somehow squeezes to about a 4.30, 5 o'clock through, through that gap there. Ferguson choosing not to play his last bowl. So that makes the score on this rink. Carl Healy 6, Dave Ferguson 3. Yeah, Matt Peterson picking up 3 shots against Jesse Narona.
Reroll of the Jack Ross Billington. Uh, Ross Billington putting it in the uh, in the ditch, but it looks like we're going to play a similar length anyway. And on rink 10, Ben Twist picking up another shot there. So Ben Twist leading 7-0 over Aaron Wilson. Matt Peterson leading 5-3 over Jesse Narona. We might leave you here for just a moment. Just got to help uh, David out with this remote control. We're back at it. The Phil Clark holding shot. Craig Donaldson with his First bowl of this sixth end. So that guy's forehand here, just trying to the Clark Bowl through the hole. So still the one to Phil Clark. Certainly some options here for Carl Healy's side. Mike Donaldson looks to have made two out of that shot.
contact here on that last Craig Donaldson bolt could get a result. And certainly a lot better there after Gaz's bowl. So Craig Donaldson's bowl just past Jack High. Here's the shot. Rod Dixon with the dark bowl and Bailey met his white speckle there. It's second and third. Jack moved a little bit. The, uh, the boys are generally pretty good at staying off that uh, line with the camera, but we do have a nice wide view here with the equipment. Good effort there from Carl. Still just the one down to that Donaldson bowl. Toucher making two out of that shot. Last ball of the end here from Carl Healy. It is Carl's yellow ball behind the two shot balls. So it can play for contact here. It's a fair effort from Carlos, just missing. So another two shots for St John's Park.
good start again from Bryce Billington. Bailey just missing with his first, but corrected very, very well with his second. So some rink updates for you. Ben Twist picking up another shot, leading seven. Oh sorry, eight nil over Aaron Wilson. Good shot there from Rod Dixon. Matt Peterson, one more shot against Jesse Narona. Peterson leading six to three after seven ends. And. Here on rink eight, Healy versus Ferguson is six all after six ends. Ali Matty still holding the one shot. Does look like Rod's very close for second. With the two Billington bowls. Close to that centre line there. Just a correction on the score. It is Carl Healy leading 6-5 here. See changing up there with a little bit of a trail. Rod Dixon's uh, dark navy bowl there is shot. Phil Clark's bowl on the centre line, second shot. Traffic down there through that forehand.
So Ferguson on the backhand, reaching up a little bit, looking for contact. Shot has isolated Rod's bowl now a little bit. Carlos just looking to change it a little bit. And it's just pushed Rod's bowl onto the jack. So now Jack sitting on the Phil Clark bowl. It's in John's Park holding one shot. See the, the jack there. So Donaldson just uh, possibly looking at playing <coughs> down through that forehand to get Rod's bowl out. Does look like they're uh, opting for a little bit of defence. With that uh, forehand shot onto the Craig Donaldson bowl, probably the option for Carl. So Dave Ferguson just looking to get where the jack might end up. Carl Healy on the mat, the last bowl of this seventh end. So St so John's Park will take the one shot and have picked up an additional shot on rink nine. Sorry, two shots. Decent start from Bryce Billington. Well played from Bailey Meddy. So 
And uh, Wilson picking up one shot. On the seventh end against Ben Twist. Still about a third of the way through this game. St John's Park with a 12 shot lead. Bad shot there from Rod. Another foot on that track would have been perfect. And it certainly gives the ball and some options. And Phil Clark having something to say about that. Just asking for Rod to try and get the split on that. That's when Bryce and Bailey's balls. Donaldson on the mat. Looking just to get past that Medi Bowl. And has played it very well and counting. So Carl asking Gary to get right up through that. Uh, Bowl of Bailey's. Mm -hmm. Playing that shot, even if it doesn't get a maximum result, certainly would give. the ability to draw past those two Billington balls. Shot there from Gaz has opened it up slightly for Carl.
Jose Ferguson backhand. Just looking to be under that dark Rod Dixon bowl. Carl playing forehand with some weight. It does tend to move a little bit, but a few of the guys getting caught out with it, holding a little bit with weight. Still with one bowl to play. So, so John's Park there with Carl just missing again. Picking up a three. And also picking up another shot on rink nine. So 26 to 10 after 24 ends. This game Ben Twist with a bowl to play on rink 10. It looks like Ben Moorthorpe holding the one shot there. Get my eyes slightly checked. Just go playing weight with his bowl. Missing and Ben Twist opting not to play his last. So, must have been very close. So score now 27 to 10. After 25 ends. Correcting very well again. Bryce holding the one shot. Quite enough there from Rod, so still the one shot to St John's Park at the moment. A 
fell in the area here. But just not quite getting there to change it. Still a fair bit of space here for both sides. Donaldson not quite enough to move Bryce's bowl in to affect the count so still just the one shot Gaz forehand here just looking to the under rods shorter bowl on that line should be pretty close. Guys drawing another second there. Congested there short of Jack, but certainly enough room for Gaz to draw a shot after his first effort. The weight was pretty spot on there from Gaz. Still a shot there. The um, camera angle again, a little bit, a uh, little bit deceiving. Fergo opting. Uh, Backhand up through his grouping of bowls there. Close to a result. See if we can get an indication from Gaz. Close there for that second shot now. With the Clark bowl being moved up. Just asking about a little bit of a reach on the forehand. Split the two St John's bowls and down to the jack. St John's boys discuss this, let you know about uh, tri-bowls. 
every week here on Thursdays, 5 till 7 p.m. No charge. If you know anyone that wants to come down, you might be new to the sport. Registered bowlers are welcome if they're bringing someone with them. Very relaxed environment. We've got all the equipment here. We've got coaching available, a little bit of music on. So perfect environment for you to give the sport a go and find out why we all love it. Then you can give it a couple of goes for a few weeks. And certainly help you out if you'd like to progress a little bit further in bowls. No pressure. That's why we've got try bowls there. Just looking to give some uh, people an experience new to the sport. Carlos trying to get a really good idea as to whether it's one or two to St John's Park. Still a chance of trying to play that shot. The uh, jack down the line to that seven o'clock. There's no worse off. A little bit. Oh, opting to play the back end just under the green and yellow bowl there. Gaz just indicating the one, trying to pinch a potential shot there without the measure. Is the one shot to St John's Park. Jesse Narona picking up a shot on rink nine. Twist looks to have picked up another two shots, so scores 30 to 11. After 28 ends. We're not quite the halfway mark, we're looking for a big second half from the Bull Ants here. there from Bryce. And Bailey trying to match that correction and it's close enough there to get shot out of it.
positive there, but staying on. You never know when they'll come in handy. Clark changing hands now. Is the one to Cabra, but certainly has opened it up. Rod can come down here backhand and tidy this up. Has played it pretty well. A little unlucky, to be honest. So it is two shots to Cabra. have the benefit of Rod's bowl at the back of the rink but I can't imagine Pixie attempting to play that sort of weight on the back end Stand corrected, but uh, Pixie certainly gave it a chance. Imagine Pix was just trying to trail Jack past that Billington bowl. Does now give St John's Park a little bit more insurance back there. Definitely two to Cabra. I don't think Gaz's last bowl has got in for third. Bolt from Donaldson. Just the one shot is Rod Dixon's bowl. So around the grounds a little bit. Rank 10 and Twist leading Aaron Wilson 11 to 1 after 9 ends. Matt Peterson leading Jesse Narona 9 to 4 after 10 ends. And Dave Ferguson leading Carla Healy 10 to 6 after 9 ends. can catch the inside of this ball here and that has landed in a very good position Probably a little fortunate with the uh, weight he was playing he hasn't gained another shot out of it but uh, Ferguson doesn't uh, doesn't make a change. Certainly give Carl a chance of a shot at three here.
So Ferguson probably a half bowl off uh, sinking that jack for a couple. Carlos not quite there with his last, but Kebra does take the one shot. Summer coming up. Plenty going on here as always at Cabra, but uh, we've got a fantastic facility on the undercover here. Get in contact with us, we can always help you out. With plenty of packages with catering, all the equipment. And with the roof, you know, your party will always be on. So get in contact and let us know. We'd love to host your party. So Matt Peterson did pick up two shots on rink nine, so it is 32 to 12 after 30 ends. Shots from Bailey. Bryce with a good response. and finishing in a very good position with his first. I'll just looking to play a little positive early in the end. See if Rod can pick the gap. Did miss a little there, but probably ended up in a uh, not a bad position. Bill Clark's last bowl there might induce a, another weighted shot. In case Gaz can clear out one of those shorter bowls.
Donaldson just looking to get past Bailey's bowl. Gary Willis wait again on the forehand. So obviously Donaldson's still with the bowl to play, but this with Gaz moving that Billington bowl on the forehand. So allow Carlos to just pick his weight. I'll just clipping that short bowl, some of that traffic up there, taking out some cabra bowls, but Carl still with uh, one bowl left. Ferguson might have done enough for third shot by the look of it. Hard to get an angle from where I'm sitting. Doesn't look it's changing Carl's shot on the forehand here. Very good shot again from Carlos. Great save, kills the end. Looking for something to do Monday the 26th of September. If you're over 50. Regular tournaments on here at Cabramatta. So don't worry, you don't need to go and find an extra bowl. Five bowl pairs. There's three bowls for the lead. Two for the skip. We'll get through a few games. $2,500 in prize money. 350 each for the winners. So you can contact us here at the club, give us a call. We can email through to bowls at cabrabowls.com.au. Good start again from Bailey. Haven't seen Bryce miss very often. So Rod here looking to take advantage.
bark just moving through enough to not quite get second shot. Right deck's in a pretty good area here and probably as bad a result as he could have got out of it. Just carrying a couple of feet but uh, Bailey's bowl on the nose there would have been a perfect result. see who's holding shot but there is a fair bit of space there each side with four to play I'm sure it'll change few score updates in a minute. Looks like Jesse Narone has picked up three against Matt Peterson. That's just trying to add a little bit from his last on the back end. Down under Rod's bowl, played to perfection. Well done, Gaz. Very good shot. Donaldson with a correction there on his forehand. Does look like Gaz is still holding shot. I know I read ahead. Very different to Carl. I'm not sure what angle he's got to Craig's bowl on the forehand, but backhand, similar shot to what Gaz played. On to Rod's bowl. Sit Craig's last bowl out. Boy's just in the shot a bit, but that's what Carl's playing now. looking like he's trying to play this same shot on the backhand. Ferguson with the last bowl of this end. Has just half the jack. Gaz's bowl catching it, so one 
on the board to Cabra. And twist with one more shot. against Aaron Wilson. Start from Bailey, hasn't been too far away most of the night. Correction there on the weight from Bailey. Very close for shot. Dixon very close with his first. Probably still the one down. Ferguson indicating uh, might be one to Rod Dixon. Very good shot regardless. Correction on the score, missing one shot. So the score's actually 33 to 17. Fair effort again from Rod. Oh, he had very good weight, just an edge on Bailey's bowl there, a couple of feet short. Pretty close to the angle I've got, and you can see why I'm a bit uncertain. So why the rod was holding shot, but I'll take Ferguson's word for it. Gas just looking to sneak around the front here on the back end. Similar to Rod, had very nice weight on that. <laughs> Matty Bruff leading very well on rink nine. Jesse picking up another two shots. Rough, nice and close with his first of the 14th end. Yeah. 
Goes ending up in a very good position there. Just falling in a little bit. Donaldson very close. Just not quite the speed. Carl now just trying to consider his options. Doesn't look like there's a much of a line on either hand to just draw down to the Billington Bowl for Carl. Forehand sneaking under Donaldson's last bowl might get Rod's bowl a little closer, but I don't know if Carl's going to get second out of it. Skips just trying to play that perfect weight. Just slide through that hole between Bailey and Craig's bowl. So Ferguson last bowl of the end. He's fairly interested. And has played an absolute howler. Possibly made a second shot out of that as well. Wait for an indication. Was the two. We did show it before, but it's certainly worth showing again. Sunday, a good day to celebrate, Father's Day. Specials here at the fields. Slow braised beef short ribs. And deep fried hole snapper. Sounds like a very, very good way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Response from Bailey. A little bit of the jack, but really only a, a foot over with the weight. So 
the car just asking for Bailey just to play this one nice and confidently. Great effort from Bailey, but he has stayed on. for Rod to play similar to Bailey's last. Nice and confident. It's a pretty good effort here from Rod. Will be another two shots to Ben Twist on rink 10. We get effort there from. Phil Clark, but does it look like two? It's hard to get a real good idea of uh, how close those two Medi bowls are, but Rod's drawn that one inside the Phil Clark bowl. Carlos just de chalking that one. So Donaldson forehand. Let's see if it's as uh, positive as the last ball from Clark. shot there from Donaldson. Still gives Gaz a de decent option to just reach up there. A little bit of bowl or jack either's opportunities for good things to happen. Willis in the area. <laughs> Cheeky shot from Carl there. Amazing gas, one down. Peterson playing up through the head, sinking the jack. Um, so one to the board. So St John's Park 38, Cabramatta 19 after 38 ends. Excuse me.
Sorry, if that one came across, just snuck up on me. Carry Willis in the area again. Great shot, Gaz. It does look look as though Gaz has made two out of that. Definitely one with the Rod Dixon bowl, shorter Jack. Ferguson just asking if that plant gets the jack clean. So Fergo playing up into the area. Jack moving just over to where you can see Gary on the screen, the white marker down on the bank. Does look like it is two shots to St John's Park. Say Bailey's bowl. The back of the rink there is third shot. Cabramatta scoring on rink 10, just measuring to see how many. Looks like it won't be more than two. So the one shot to Cabramatta. Sorry, I need to pay attention. Missed that last Ferguson bowl, but just falling in the ditch on the outside of Billington Bowl. Well, we would have had that shot. So the call was to sink the Medi toucher. Carlos playing it very, very well, getting the one shot. So, Cabra picking up a couple of singles. More things happening during the week here at Cabra Matter Bowling Club. Every Monday there's plenty of people turning up for bingo. 11am to 2pm, plenty of prizes, $400 to be won. Sandy always doing a very good job keeping everyone entertained. And later on in the week you can come to try bowls from 5 till 7. And this trivia every Thursday night from 7 p.m. So, a little bit of movement. Matt right up for the bull ants. Uh, 
And another good start from Bailey. Response from Bryce. Couple of bowls in the head there for Bailey. Down is a call from Carl. last but now Carl saying he's happy with that speed let's put it in a pretty good area very good shot from Rod probably the one down but has opened the head right up Goes to the mat on the back end. He's played some big bowls tonight. And he's in the area again, very close. What a great shot from Gaz. Jesse with a couple of big shots. Picking up a three. A 12 all after 15 on that rink. So margin now 14 in favour of St John's Park. Ferguson is asking a nice confident draw on the back end. So that was the speedy of us after. 
So Gary Willis still holding the one shot. Just looking to get to the inside of that Clark bowl. Slight correction here from Carl. A little touch for two. He's just hit Gaz's short bowl of the nose and looks like it's one down. and just probably assessing it's worth the risk to try and play probably under that bowl of Bailey's close to the centre line forehand sneak through there trail jack or just sit Gaz's bowl to St John's Park here and one shot to Ben Twist so 16 the difference 43 ends played Still plenty of time for the Bullions to peg this margin back. Overs there from Bailey, but stays on at the back of the ring.
So room here for Rod to draw on the back end. Looks like Jesse's holding at least the one shot. Possibly two. Good shot there from Rod Dixon. Great speed again from Rod, but possibly giving away the shot, I'm not sure. But two bowls in the head, something to work with. As you can see, plenty of people lying in the bank here. Starting to throw a few jackets on as it cools down. Really only the one shot here for Gaz. Just a little reach up on the forehand. Produce a result off of either Rod's bowls. Bailey's bowl at the back of the ring. Jack through's okay. Good result is Rod's outside bowl and punch that Bryce bowl out. Pixie reaching up there trying to get uh, ideal result was Jack. Didn't get the result but in doing so did knock Bailey's bowl there at the back into the ditch. shot from Gaz. From here looks to have made two out of that. There's still a fair opening and a bit of a target there for Ferguson.
Certainly not the result Ferguson was after. It is two to Cabra. So Carl playing forehand, just looking to try and get to Ferguson's last ball. Reaching up to Gaza's ball, still makes the three. So Disco picking up a shot. But Matt Peterson picking up two, so 17 the difference after 45 ends. Ferguson with his last ball of the end. Carl still one to play. <laughs> Pretty close there from Ferguson not getting the result. Carl to play something similar for a four. Has played it very, very well. Four to the Bull Ants. So we told you about the over 50 pairs in September on Monday the 26th. Early November midweek tournament. November 2nd to the 4th. Eligibility is grade 4 to 7. Triples, so you either play on the 2nd or the 3rd. You select the playing night. And the top sides from each night will progress to the finals night on the 4th. So first place side prize money there is $1,200. Plenty of prize money for the places. Difficult to get a real good shot on this minimum length, but we'll do our best. Great start again from Bailey. Starters. Probably just the one shot from here. A touch on the uh, jack is ideal from Rod here. Good speed for that shot. Well played. So, in the 
miscommunication from Ferguson is Phil Clark has just got close enough for shot. Might run with this angle for this end. Shot from Clark. Carl just looking at that forehand just to get under the bowls, the yellow Billington bowls. Potential to sit both bowls out, maybe get a little bit of jack as well. And with the four Cabra bowls behind there. Maximum result of five. So Gaz just trying to play this shot again on the forehand. Must have been a pretty good area. Oh, Gaz, great shot. Slide through that front bowl. Edge the jack and looks at least three-ish. Could be four. See Jesse there lining up with a bit of weight. Missing by a fraction, so it is one to St John's Park. Craig Donaldson up through the head. But he played that about as well as he could have. So it is one shot to Cabramatta. He won't get the shot behind the ring. Dark bowl there of Rod Dixon he is holding shot. Carl okay. uh, Healy doing enough a second. Uh, 
Ferguson drawing shot with his first of the end. Carl Healy just looking for the Ferguson bowl. Ferguson drawing shot with his last. Makes that a two. And Pen Twist picking up an additional two on rank ten. to play with 18 the difference certainly not an easy task but each side putting themselves in pretty good positions to score Bailey not too far away with his first. speed there from Bailey does look a little tight on that shot there but the yellow bowl of Billington's probably eight or nine inches past the jack Dixon in a pretty good area here, just not quite the speed he was after. Asking Rod nice and positive on the forehand. Mm -hmm. 
That's exactly what Carl was after. He's played that pretty well, Rod. They're a little stiff with the result, but at least there's some room there now. So we're on the 17th end here. Ferguson leading 15 to 13. Matt Peterson leading Jesse Narona 14 to 12. They're on three bowls to play on the 18th end. Ben Twist leading Aaron Wilson 18 to 4. Can't quite get a look at the ends. Very good shot here from Gary Willis. Thank you. look like Gaz has got a shot from the angle I'm on. Is looking to see if he can repeat the dose. He's ended up in a pretty good position. Hard to tell with the differences in the bowls. Green of Gary Willis's bowls identical to Craig Donaldson, but the bowl jack height on left of screen is definitely Gary Willis's. David Ferguson just resting that bowl out of Gary. Probably holding two. Carl Healy looking to play the exact same shot. That's really only just missed the result he was after. Probably still... Will mainly be the one to St John's now. The ball of Gary Willis directly behind Jack is probably second shot. and picking up one shot on rink nine. That last bowl of Ferguson May have made it a bit difficult for Carl to draw in there, so looks like he'd be trying to play decent weight on the back end. And 
was not far away. He just skirts past that bowl from Bailey. So they will take the one bowl out. The yellow Billington bowl. Tudor St John's Park. Ben Twist scoring on Rank 10, we'll get you that score update when we have a chance. Getting shot, that's a pretty good response from Bailey. Two good shots. From Bryce. Bailey in a very good area again. A tight battle up front between Bailey and Bryce. from Rod. It's been a very good wait the whole night. ball from Clark is still probably just short of a yard so room for Rod to play a very similar bowl to his last. Rod Dixon in the area. Made some contact. Difficult to try and get a view of how far that jack moved. So regardless it is between the two yellow St John's bowls.
Trevor Manor with about four thirds. Well, at least three. So Gary Willis. So just playing something similar to uh, Rod's last two efforts. Just a touch light there from Gaz. Line looked pretty good. Carl just asking, same bowl, add two feet. See if there's any angles there that allow Carl to play up a little bit more, but it really does look like that shot on the backhand is the best option. Ferguson, on the other hand, will look to just draw to Bailey's bowl. Very close for third shot if he does that. And is in the area. Just not quite the weight. Very good effort there from Carl. We can see the jack now. We'll see Ferguson with the bowl to play, but it does look as though Carl if nothing changes from this point, could just get to the inside of his bowl and fall in for shot. and trying to just get up to his bowl. I think he's done enough to change the count. So we wait and see, no indication of whether it's one or two. There's obviously a lot of yellow in that shot, so the two yellow bowls on the centre line, uh, St John's Park, Ross Billington's bowls. Bowl right of the centre line is the Carl Healy bowl. Uh, last bowl of the end. So 
So the score is Wanda St John's Park. And Matt Peterson with one shot on rink nine. Missed a couple of shots. So Ben Twist scoring on a rink 10. Shot from Bailey there in the area. So 54 ends played. Rank 10, Ben Twist leading Aaron Wilson. 19 to 4. Matt Peterson leading Jesse Narona 17 to 12. And here on rank 8, Dave Ferguson leading Carl Healy 18 to 13. We're on to end 19 here on this rink. Very good shot from Bailey. Does look like the two shots. Phil Clark. Not quite, very good weight. Once again, Rod Dixon with fantastic weight. Just resting that bowl out. Definitely three now by the look of it. I don't know how that bowl got through there. It's a fair effort from... Bill Clark. The next best result there from Rod. as we are chasing some shots here. Does defend that uh, little trail through between Bailey and Rod's bowls. Uh, options for Gaz, either hand, either side there's a St John's Park bowl to beat to count, Gaz on the forehand. We 
good effort here from Gaz. So Donaldson's bowl there, just falling in for third shot. So the two Cabra bowls on the centre line are two shots. Guess be on the backhand now. Just looking to try and beat that last bowl of Pixie. And he's, it's a fair effort to fall in. Falls in for third shot. So the option, draw another one. I think that trying to peg back this deficit. Ferguson, wait again on the forehand. So Fergo clearing, clearing out the front bowl of Bailey's. So it still should be two shots to Cabra. Carl just looking to get to the edge of Gaz, but a little light on. Will be two shots. So we've played 19 ends here on this ring. Dave Ferguson leading 18 to 15 over Carl Healy. Playing a very close to minimum again. Solid start from Bailey. So we might just look at going with that uh, side on angle of the head again. Jesse Narona picking up. Two shots. Uh, ben Twist also picking up a shot. So 57 ends played. 55 to 33.
Not quite going to get the angle on that uh, shot down the line. Probably still one shot to St John's Park. Could be wrong, it is close. shot there you can see Jack still hasn't moved Gary playing the forehand here just trying to get up to the edge of Bailey's bowl it's a fair effort has created another option there with on the backhand pushing uh, Clark's bowl up through the jack a little bit. See there on that shot what Carl's after, very similar to Gary's last bowl. Slide the white onto the jack. So that shot there opens up a little bit. Rod's bowl was blocking some contact, so. Big board looking a ways away at this stage. It's certainly a chance of a rink here for the Bullants. Craig Donaldson just changing it up there with contact onto Phil's bowl. So Carl landing into that Donaldson bowl. Slid right across and pushed the jack. So it is two shots to Cabramatta. Jack sitting between Gary Willis and Rod Dixon bowls there. Ferguson reaching up there has pushed a Phil Clark bowl 
right up to the edge of the jack, it does look like. It is one shot to St John's Park. It's hard to see that there is actually uh, that blue bowl there just behind Rods. forehand possibly looking to kill and that was one of the possible results off Bailey's short pole there Still 19 played here on rink 8. Uh, looks like Carl's calling for a similar length to the last end. Aaron Wilson picking up a shot on the 19th end. Score now 55 to 34. See Narona playing weight with his last ball. Just getting the wrong side. Ripping a couple out and then Matt Peterson drawing with his last. And scoring five shots. So 59 ends played. Good speed again from Bailey. A, bit, a little bit disappointed there, leaving it uh, hanging out jack high. Track from Rod there, one of the rare times he's pulled up a little short. Saying that Rod's bowl is counting. Good position and counting. Clark just sliding under that Dixon short pole, probably getting into fourth shot. Chance here for Gaz just to tuck this jack away.
Craig Donaldson with his last. He's played that very well and fallen in for shot. Yeah, he's playing the uh, the weight the car was after. Looking to get down to his own bowl there. We can see on the screen there that is yellow, but that's Gary Willis's two colour bowl. Positional shot there from Donaldson. Depending on the angle, if uh, Carl's to land Gaz's bowl there short of Jack, might squeeze over that way. Great shot, Carl Healy. Could not have played that any better. From here it looks like three shots. Possibly close for the fourth. St John's closest bowl on that shot there. You can see the blue bowl at his right of screen. I'd say Carl just uh, with three shots the difference. Ferguson still with the bowl to play. Potentially looking at options to try and not make it easier for uh, Fergo to use the bowl on that back end. There is still a fair bit of room for Dave to draw in there on the back end, but. playing backhand. Ideal result just to get to the front of Rod's bowl. Well, he's played that pretty well. Didn't quite get down to the centre line, but he's in the count, so definitely Cabramatta holding four at this stage. Last bowl of the end, 20th end here. Pretty good shot from Fergo there. Cabramatta with one shot. Aaron Wilson picking up three on rink 10.
similar length again. We're going to have to stick with this uh, side-on angle. Try and get you the best shot we can. Get the early ones coming down and as the head progresses. So two shots in this rink. Very good start from Bailey again. He's played two fantastic shots. See there on this angle, that is two white balls. Probably a little disappointed with where that's ended up. Touch short of Jack does give Phil Clark a pretty good look at. spot there from Rod with his second. Two shots to Cabramatta. Need three to win the rink. It's probably not close enough for third shot. I'd say the Yellow St John's Bowl on the centre line would be third. Donaldson there rolling St John's Bowl over. Still two shots to Cabramatta. Carl just looking to build options. Try and get that three. Well done, 
very good shot there from Gary Willis. Interesting to see that has rolled into third. Ben Twist scoring uh, one more shot on the last and on rink 10. So this will be the last rink on the green. Five bowls to play. Donaldson still with a bowl to play. Ferguson asking for probably six, six to eight yards through the Billington Bowl. So still one to Cabramatta. Possibly a measure for the second, but Carl Healy with the opportunity to draw forehand. A little touch of the jack for three. a fair effort from Carl Healy so no indication of the count Ferguson reaching on the back end get a good view of the jack. You can see it there on the edge of Carl's bowl, left of the centre line. So looking to play forehand and sit through the Billington bowl. The other result would have been a feather of the jack, which would have put it in a position to be holding three. And has just missed, so it will be one shot to Cabramatta. And the final on this rink is St John's Park 18, Cabramatta 17. I'd like to thank every single one of you for joining us this evening. Some fantastic bowls played on this rink here. Between the sides, skipped by David Ferguson and Cabramatta's Carl Healy. So we go at it again tomorrow afternoon. We'll have the streaming images with you again, 2.30. Right here at Cabramatta Bowling Club. Playing round two against Mount Lewis. And then our third round in the schedule is actually a bye. And we'll play our third match next Friday night.
Oh, my apologies. It is on Saturday at St John's Park on the 10th and then on the 16th of September, Friday evening at St John's Park. So the four games, double round robin between Cabramatta, St John's and Mount Lewis. So obviously we didn't get the result today. We'll get back at it tomorrow for the win and then look to get some momentum for the last couple of rounds of this Zone 12 Division 1 men's pennant. Thank you again for joining us. We'll see you again soon.